going on everyone? DSP here, and uh, I've been getting a lot of requests recently. Hold on, I'm almost tripped on my shoes here. Uh, I've been getting a lot of requests recently to do another condo tour. Uh, since I have been decorating my condo over the past several months with a gaming related fair. And uh, people have noticed, you know, different trophy and trophies, different statues and things kind of creeping up in my videos, in my channel updates, and people have been saying, well, you know, what does the condo look like since the last time we did one of these earlier this year? And so, what I figured I would do is I would do a, another condo tour for you this time, and uh, bear in mind that my place is going to be extremely messy. I didn't really clean up much for this, and uh, there's kind of shit all over the place, as you're going to see. But uh, And also keep in mind I live alone. It's not like, you know... I need to clean up constantly or whatever. This is all just my place. So I understand that if you know, more than one person were living here, it would be kind of cramped because it is a small place. So anyway, uh, here's the front door. Uh, oh, delightful. Here's the front door. And uh, this is actually a poster I picked up at Kineticon. It's the official movie poster of Ghostbusters. Who are you going to call? And I had it framed and put on the door there. Uh, you know place to hang winter apparel like gloves and a scarf and stuff baseball cap shoe uh, thing down there to hold the shoes a nice doormat with my sneakers on it we've got the fuse box we've got a non-working intercom when these units were first put in here I believe it was like the 1970s or early 80s when this unit was or when this building was built used to use this intercom. Now this doesn't work anymore. Now it actually goes through the phone system. And just to answer everyone's question, no, if you saw my videos from 2009 when I first moved in. Oh, that's a good focus, huh? When I first moved in here in 2009, there was a hole in the wall right here because I had opened this door, or someone had opened this door. I, I, to my knowledge, it wasn't me. But someone had opened the door so hard and there was no door stop down there that it made a hole in the fucking wall. And we fixed that right away. It was one of the first things I fixed when I moved in and we put the door stop down there. So we're going to look at the kitchen, which we, you've seen many times if you watch my Cooking with the King videos, but some things have changed. I actually moved the, that Keystone Cops artwork that I got at the Too Many Games convention over here to the little, uh, I guess, column or whatever you want to call it, the wall here going into the kitchen. As you head into the kitchen to the left, I've got a stand here with all kinds of stuff and... Uh, Air, different air fresheners, different things for when it gets stinky in here, which it does because I'm a stinky guy. We've got, this is pretty cool. This is a Brita water bottle that has a filter built into it. You can see it inside there. And so what you do, like when I go to tournaments or I go to a convention, I bring that with me. And that way I can stop at any water fountain, fill it up, and the water tastes really good. And it's filtered out for, you know, all those particles and things that you don't really want so that's pretty neat and the filter lasts something like eight months long or something like a thousand bottles of water which i'll never use so i thought that was pretty cool i got a case of water underneath there i got a case of balls energy drink cherry flavor and uh i usually drink one of those when i'm doing uh doing a i know i'm going to be doing a heavy duty playthrough you know it's something that's going to be lasting a long time that's when I drink one of those. I don't necessarily always drink those. It's not something I drink every day. I'm not hooked on caffeine or anything like that. This shelf below is pretty interesting. Basically, I stopped eating so much, uh, as much as I used to. I used to eat, like, three full meals a day, okay? They used to be giant meals, oversized. And I realized, for what I do for my lifestyle, I don't need to be doing that. So what I started doing, they they sell different things. Now this is one of them. This is not, you know, and I'm not advertising for this company by any means, but it's a it's a meal replacement nutrient shot. So what I usually do in the morning when I wake up, or sometimes I don't wake up in the morning, let's be honest. Sometimes I wake up in the afternoon, but when I wake up, you drink one of these suckers and you drink something like 12 to 16 ounces of water, and it's got enough vitamins and minerals in it to basically replace uh, a serving of of, you know, vegetables, a serving of fruit, and uh, it's a really good idea if you're not someone who needs constant energy like me. I'm not doing a lot of physical activity. You don't need to have three full meals a day. So for at least one meal a day, I usually do something like this. And then I actually, usually I eat one major meal a day around midday to a little bit later on. Not too late, because if you eat too late, it actually turns to pure fat and goes right to your body if you're not burning the calories. But... 
It's not something you want to do for all meals. Unfortunately, some people think that you can buy something like that and you can just drink it three meals a day, and that's very unhealthy. You should be eating real food, solid food. You shouldn't be drinking nutrient drinks all day. That's not good for you, but if you're going to do, you know, like, one for one meal a day, that's good. And actually, I don't know if people have no a lot of people have mentioned that they've noticed that I've lost weight. This is a major reason why, because I'm not eating eggs and, and, you know, cereal in the morning and then some kind of, you know, a lunch with meat or whatever and then a, a major entree for dinner. No, I usually have one of these when I first get hungry during the day and then I have one major meal a day and uh, I don't eat junk food, I don't snack or anything like that. And I've lost a lot of weight. I think I started out over 240 pounds, to be completely honest, uh, last year. And since I've been doing this for the past two or three months, I've dropped a significant amount of weight. And uh, I feel great. I feel energetic. I feel way better. My back feels better because I have a bad back. And losing the weight, I feel a lot better. So, anyway, that was a long talk for that little bit. Down there, we've got recyclables. So I just put my recycling stuff down there. Wow, I'm sure you're interested in looking at my vacuum cleaners and trash can and an empty box that I got something in. Here's my gaming schedule, as you've seen in many of my schedule videos. This is up on the kitchen wall here. This is a calendar that you can buy at any local Staples. I think that's, yeah, that's where I got it from. I think it's actually, at a glance, is the name of the brand. But uh, you can buy it at Staples or any other office store. This is a poster I got from SamShe.com. I saw it at, the, at uh, Kineticon, but I didn't have a chance to pick it up. So I got it at SamShe.com and put it up there. I think it's really cool. My Hateful Truth Clock which the batteries died and it's completely at the wrong time. It's been like that for quite a long time. My fridge and all that. This is actually pretty cool. This is a, I don't know if I showed anyone this last time, this is a uh, weather reader and it's very hard to see, I guess because of the lighting, but what it does, it connects to a satellite and every day it tells you what the temperature is. So in a town near me, this isn't actually where I live, but the town of Bridgeport, which is near me in Connecticut, it's currently 76 degrees, and because of all the factors going on, it says that it really feels like 74 degrees. That's pretty neat, because that way I don't have to turn on the news or go outside to figure out, you know, what the temperature is. You got microwave, you've seen the oven, you've seen all this. Again, if you've seen my Cooking with the King videos, you've seen all that. Um, this is a Keurig, which they call K-Cups Coffee Maker, slash Tea Maker, and I bought it. And I don't really use it that much. I bought it thinking, oh, man, I'm going to, you know, I really like tea and I miss coffee because I used to drink tea at my old job, which I got laid off from. And I was like, wow, you know, I'll use this all the time. And I almost never use it. It's pretty funny that I, I got it and then ends up, nah, you know, it was just, it was a, it was an impulse buy. You know, I went to the store. I said, oh, man, I would really like to have some of this. And then I got it and then I don't use it. So this is my mini bar fully stocked with several different kinds of liquor. And uh, one day, if you are of legal age to drink, you can have this for yourself. Many of you might have this for yourself, but it is pretty cool. If friends ever stop by, like, hey, want a shot? And, you know, you can make mixed drinks, you can do whatever. Pretty neat. Um, my disgusting sink, which I should probably wash at some point. You know, knives and shit. Nothing really interesting here at all. My, my, uh, my beer stein, which people have seen many times. I guess I'll show you my counter here. This is <laughs> this is the robot chicken humping robot, and he's humping two of the question mark blocks from Super Mario Brothers. And really what these are, these are they hold candy inside of them, and they're really hard to open, so I doubt I could do this with one hand. But the, the candy, oh, I almost got it. The candy actually looks like gold coins from Super Mario Brothers, which is pretty neat. That's why I got them. I thought it was a pretty cool piece of memorabilia. The candy itself smells awful, so I don't know if I'm ever going to try to taste it. <laughs> we have here a model of, um, boy, I am having a brain fart that I can't remember this guy's fucking name, so I apologize, but obviously from Gears of War, and below him is Dead Fred, who is supposed to be a pen holder, but I can't put my pens in here because I don't use regular pens. I use ones with this uh, the, the, that needle tip. And when you put it in there, it actually leaks inside. So it's pretty much completely pointless. I can't use it. So what I did was I decided to make it part of the, the layout here of this model. So it looks like he killed them, which is pretty cool. Here we got all kinds of odds and ends. First of all, I don't even chew gum. But at one point, I bought a energy candy pack from thinkgeek.com and it came with all this energy gum so it's just been sitting here because I don't chew gum 
But here I've got all kinds of cards and contact information from all the different vendors and people that I've seen at conventions that I've gone to this year. I've got my passport. My wallet is made of duct tape. It's called a ducty wallet. It's the best wallet I've ever had in my entire life because unlike other wallets, even if you jam pack it full of stuff, it conforms to your stuff. So it actually fits in your pocket, which I love. Here's all kinds of Blistex that I got during the winter because I had really bad chapped lips. Um, down here underneath the Blistex, I have two tokens from Chinatown Fair, the famous arcade in New York City in Chinatown that has now been closed down and is defunct, and therefore those are like kind of collector's items, really. Anyone who has them, it's basically you're the last people who have them because if you kept them, that's it. You're never going to get any more. Um, you got mints, you got my keys. This is a actually a pen that can write in any condition. It could write upside down. It can write underwater. And it's a really portable pen, so that's pretty cool. And uh, this is a watch, and I don't know if anyone's ever seen this watch. I don't know if I've ever shown it before. I like it because if I can get the fucking case open, holy shit. It's really jammed together there. Hold on. What the hell? Ugh. There we go. The company's name is Rosenthal, or Rosendahl, Rosendahl Watches. And it's, as you can see, it's a digital readout. It's the most basic watch you can ever have, but I like the, I like it. It's stylish. It's simple. It's got a rubber, um, a rubber wristband. So during the summer, it's not very good. But during the winter, it's pretty neat. It's pretty stylish, so I like that. And uh, that's my wristwatch, but I usually don't carry it too much. Like I said, in the winter, it's a cool thing to have. But in the summer, usually I just rely on my cell phone because the rubber is annoying. Um... All right, so I guess we should split this here, and then in the next part, we'll continue around the bend here on my bar. As you see, this used to be a nice empty bar, uh, and now it's completely covered in shit. So, all right, so we'll be right back.